newish channel? Eh, maybe not. New me? <laughs> I can only hope that's the case. And with the new year ringing in, figure it's time to try some new things with this channel. So what better way to kick off this new year than with an NWA Power Review? Because there have been few of you that have been asking about it. And by God, I've been watching it for a few months, like some of the things that I see, happens to be my favorite form of professional wrestling right now. Not the best. Not saying everything that they do is what everybody else should do. It's just nice and refreshing when professional wrestling is largely here to have something that is different that is here. It doesn't mean I'm going to give you a biased BS all the time. No, you can probably tune into other people for that. I'm going to shoot it straight, just like I always do, whether I like it or not. But if you like me doing this review, and you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe, and then for all of you, click the bell, what the hell, that way anytime this type of review or any other type of video on this channel drops, you will be in the know, assuming YouTube doesn't screw it up. Are you ready? I am, but most importantly of all, before I do anything else, if you want me to continue to review NWA Power, then by God, you better watch, you better like, and tell other people to do it too. One thing I really, really, really enjoy about NWA Power is the use of the interview. Pre-match interviews, post-match interviews, they put their talents out there and try to get their personalities and their characters over. Sometimes it works, sometimes it really doesn't. But I've always appreciated how they've focused and emphasized the utilization of these pre- and post-match interviews. If you want the things that happen in the ring to matter, then you've got to make the people care about the performers in the ring. And this is one way to do it. And you look at what happened with Tim Storm and Nick Aldis on the show. Like, from the jump, here's Tim Storm, you know, an older KG vet, talking about lovely Mama Storm, and you're just kind of this classy, dignified type of guy. And then here comes the classy, dignified, yet jerkish heel world champ, Nick Aldis. Like, you look at him, and he certainly looks the part of a world champion. And it's easy to get behind the story with these two. It's easy to feel what they're talking about, whereas... In the weeks leading up to the pay-per-view, things were starting to get kind of disconjointed because I don't think that they were thought it was going to get over that well in terms of the product itself. Um, when you look at here, this is more of what I'm expecting. Give me a reason to like this guy, not like this guy, and set something up for later in the show. It's not that hard. Then you've got Shooter Stevens. He's going to grace us with his presence. An exhibition! A submission exhibition at that. Fantastic. I want to see the third degree NWA national champion in all of his resplendent glory. Especially considering the fact that he has torn himself away from his oh so busy Hollywood movie schedule to grace us with his presence every Tuesday, well this week, Wednesday afternoon at 6.05 p.m. I'm freaking YouTube on the NWA channel. And thankfully you've got Stu Bennett there to set Joe straight. This is Shooter Stevens. This is serious business. And how dare Trevor Murdoch stick his pudgy, roly poly nose into Shooter Stevens' business. He cheated, I tell you. He cheated. And now Shooter Stevens doesn't get a shot in the TV tie tournament. This is outrageous! This is a fundamental abomination of justice! It doesn't matter, though. It does not matter. Because Aaron Stevens is still the third-degree NWA national champion. Trevor Murdoch is, well, look at him. He's just bleh. Trevor Murdoch. And most importantly of all, and most importantly of all, if it's a form of martial arts, a very good chance that Shooter Stevens is a master of it.
Karate, we say. Karate! Marcus Smart here, and I got a question for you. What in the world is NWA power? What is it? Why does this exist? If you want to watch wrestling related stuff on YouTube, go watch Bing the Elite. Nobody cares about NWA power. Oh, we're going back to the 80s. It was so great and glorious, and everybody was coked up and steroided, and most people are dead now. Highspots.com. Highspots.com. You want to talk about high spots that matter? Go and watch every Wednesday night on TNT at 8 p.m. Eastern. All Elite Wrestling. They've got Cody. They've got Kenny Omega. They've got the Young Bucks. They've got the best. Motherfucker professional wrestling in the world, and most importantly of all, most importantly of all, starting this week here on this channel, the weekly AEW Dynamite Review gets a little smarter. <laughs> I just made that up because I'm Marcus Smart, and that's funny. It's funny. All right, I do high spot moves, slips, and kicks. I don't know about comedy, because we don't need comedy in professional wrestling. But what we do need is all elite wrestling. And what we most specifically need is Mark Kiss Smart on the weekly AEW Dynamite Review. Get your flaming keyboard figures of fire ready to launch them at the Schlag Daddy. Because the war for professional wrestling has once again begun. Get something straight. The Pope. The Pope. The God-blessed Pope. D'Angelo De Niro is pimping all over NWA. And none of you thought that this was an important enough detail to bother to share with me. Because I took a week or two off from watching NWA Power. And that is how everybody repaid me? You could have let a brother know. That's all I'm saying. The Pope is pimping in NWA. This is fantastic. I really like Eli Drake. He's got a decent look, he's got personality, and he could cut a damn promo. He's really good in an interview, specifically like a couple of the other guys, like Aaron Stevens. Excuse me, excuse me! Shooter Stevens! Really good in that close, kind of intimate uh, interview setting that they have at the TV studio. That said, I'd really like to see them actually find something meaningful to do with Eli Drake. Because on the one hand, it's cool and all that he comes out, it seems like, almost every week and cuts some type of promo. But I don't know who he's supposed to be. I don't really know what he's supposed to be about. And I want to know more about why Eli Drake should matter. And personally, like you've got Colt Cabana coming out, you've got Ken Anderson talking, and you're like, is any of this accomplishing anything for him? I don't really know. Eli Drake should be a featured player in the NWA. And I haven't necessarily been a particularly big fan of his utilization over the past couple of months. I don't know if I was necessarily feeling the kind of hen house clucking session. You had freaking Allison Kay and the baby faces, and you had Marty Bell on the heels, and they're griping and complaining about friendships and everything else, and all this other estrogen treachery and garbage. Just kiss it out already! Well, we did get a ladies match here. It was Marty Bell, yay, and ooh, Tasha Steeles. When I see them wrestle, my loins get the feels. Hooray! The main event originally was going to be one of these TV tournament quarterfinal matches. It's gonna be Tim Storm. It's gonna be Nick Aldis, the holder of the 10 pounds of gold. But Nick Aldis, being the smart businessman that he is, says, No, no, no! I'm not doing this. And nor should he. Nor should he. He decided, still though, that the fans needed something. So he volunteered Royce Isaacs for the journey, who looked all too incredibly pleased to do it. 6.05 time limit. I guess it's kind of interesting. Uh, as far as the match itself, I mean, let's face it. If you're looking for a bunch of flips and kicks, NWA is not going to be your style. It's just not. I, I enjoy it sometimes in the sense of it's different in-ring style than what I get everywhere else. I actually look at some of these guys, and I see, like, Tim Storm. He's freaking 54 years old, jacked as shit. And I look at him, and I say, you know, 
But that, to me, still looks like a professional wrestler. Like, a lot of these people that are with NWA, at least to me, look and feel and act and talk and walk and work like actual professional wrestlers, and it's refreshing. But Tim Storm wins his match, and that's pretty much how we go off the air. I don't know that this show necessarily gave me any cliffhangers or anything I must absolutely see next week, uh, but I know before I go that there's one person that's got something to say about all of this. And I'm sure you've been waiting to hear from him for quite a while now. Just remember, I'm the Schlag Daddy, that angry wrestling man. This is OTRS Central. Not the wrestling show you want, just the wrestling show you need. And because of reasons like this gentleman. Hello, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! It's been too long in a day, but that's right, I'm back, the Dick Storm Baby! Adam Cole, we're going to talk about gimmick infringement later. I know some of you have been wondering where I've been all this time. Well, I just took some time away from professional wrestling. But it feels like, it feels like, the moment is here, the moment is now, and the moment is right. I'm back to talk about my man, my fan, the cowboy James Storm. Now, of course, leave it to me to watch NWA Power this week. And there's no cowboy James Storm. They give me Tim Storm. From that side of the family we don't play with his bucket head and stuff. But what we want, what we need, is the cowboy, James Storm. Now that's a man. That's a man's man. He can drink beer from a can and knock you out, wrestler and fan alike. Now that's a hero. That's somebody to build your company around. And I don't care who it is. Shooter, Aaron Stevens, Tim Storm, Colt Cabana, Ken Anderson, or even the man that holds 10 pounds of gold, the world's champion, Nick Aldis. All I'm going to tell you is this. Come 2020, the Dick Storm is back, which makes James Storm deadly. Dick Storm is here. That means the cowboy you should fear. I'm back to spit my truth from my one-eyed monster of justice. All you ladies, settle down. You'll get to see plenty of good old Dick Storm every week. Woo! The cowboy is in the NWA. And good old Dick Storm is back. Saddle up, baby. It's gonna be one hell of a bumpy ride.